Okay, this is take two of this video. Hopefully I'm not gonna sniffle all the way through it like I just did the first tea. Um, here are uh, six more additions, technically, to the vehicle pool for the American platoons. There are gonna be four American platoons that I'm gonna add to my bolt action armies. The infantry for which is behind me, but that's gonna be part of another video. We're just gonna focus on the the extra vehicles today. Um, I got these little fellas, these M3 half tracks. They are part of an armored fist box set, so you get 30 infantry and you get uh, three M3s. The M3s are great, they've got a 50 caliber that's got a 360 degree arc, which is wonderful. Then they've got these three 30 calibers, so you know, plenty of danger beans flying out of th this thing in all directions. Wonderful. The instructions and, and the same paragraph is basically re re reproduced on the M3 instruction sheet as it is on the M8, which is them. So it says here, follow these simple instructions to build your reconnaissance vehicle. Now the panel gaps on these things were pretty intense for me. It could just be that I suck at making models but I have made many thousands of models now of all different types from different manufacturers in different materials using different construction methods and these vehicles I, I, I put loads of Mantic vehicles together and I held my hand up to it I put three Matildas uh, three Matilda 2's together and I managed to um, glue the gun mantlets in upside down which was just I didn't realise that until it was too late to change because of course it's polystyrene cement and by then you can't get them back out but even so the, I, I, I found these these difficult to get together without see there pretty intense panel gapage going on and the panel gaps were different in each vehicle they didn't all gap in the same places and partly that's because I was wise to how it was going to gap from the last time I think the best one that I did yeah, was was this one, which has the fewest panel gaps, which is the last one that I put together. But I did manage to cut the um, the fifty caliber out wrong and snap the barrel off because I forgot that you're supposed to cut the back end off before the front end. So the front end was under too much tension and it just pinged off into oblivion. The worst one was the first one, which was this one, which has got some intense panel gap going on particularly in the A pillar area near the driver which is that bit there like on a car so you got A and B although of course this has got a big cargo area in the back so it didn't really have a C pillar but you get the point uh, but other than that no these 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 were really good kits I like them a lot they went together pretty well um, they were pretty simple to do really good value for the money and you know they move my troops around the board. Oh, I've never played bolt action, but I'm gonna. They're gonna move my troops around the board and they're gonna do all sorts of amazing things, I'm sure. So that's good. Then there's these little fellas, the M8s. The M8 is an open topped reconnaissance. Is it a tank or is it an armored car? I'm gonna say armored car because it's a bit like a Puma, isn't it? Except it's open topped. And the Puma had a bigger gun, though I think they made more of these. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't have a Puma and I don't want one. These things went together pretty well. There were two things of note though with these. One, do you see where... I'm not sure if this is a French recoil system like on the French 75 from the First World War, but it looks like it is, you know, so, so where the thin part of the barrel telescopes into the thick part of the barrel, or whether that's just extra mass for the breech, breeches in there, if you can see it. I don't know, but either way, there's a thin part of the barrel, nice, and then a thick part of the barrel, okay, gives it some extra structure, and I'm, I'm sure that's what it looks like in real life, but the gun mantlet doesn't fit over the thick bit, and so the first one of these that I put together has got some intense tool marks where I tried to sort of work it over before I realised it just wasn't going to fit. So I had to take a round file and 
bulge out the um the the the, the aperture so that the gum would fit through and that's why this plastic is bruised it's going to get covered up with paint um but there was no other way to get it over the the the, the gun and then the other thing of note with these is the underneath is crazy detailed and i kind of i mean it's nice but i mean when i say crazy detailed the instructions aren't the clearest but that's one two three um or is it no that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 16 parts before you get to the floor pan because the wheels on these come in two parts so that's it's a lot of parts it's it's i know it says simple instructions and stuff but they're not they're not really for beginners these things even though you know they are quite cheap you, you get three of them in in a, in a in a box um so yeah that that that's that's more of the obviously you've seen the vehicle pool in the commonwealth and kuomintang video where um you know you've got stewards and shermans and i think they're m18 tank destroyers i think um but obviously the americans can't use universal carriers so they needed they needed these to move their fellows around and they needed these because they can't use the Humber armoured car and they can't use the India uh, pattern armoured car um, so I, I basically needed some transport and scouting options for the Americans um, I'll do a video on the infantry after this one um, that will be up in, in I don't know maybe tomorrow or something but um it's just that there was so much to talk about with these kits alone and with there being four platoons of the American infantry that'll be a completely different video and then obviously I'll do another video when they're all painted um after these I want to do um early Soviets so that I can use early Soviet vehicles rather than lend -lease stuff and um I would like to do a couple of Italian armies uh but then I think that's probably it for me in bolt action. But yeah, that was um that's that's the extra reinforcements for the Allied vehicle pool. And um and that was it.